going on folks? I'm about to show you how to add some Freon to a Chevy Impala. This happens to be a Chevy Impala 2000 and where you want to put your Freon is is where your low line is at and on this one it's right in the back right there basically right up underneath where your windshield wipers are at in the engine compartment. As you can see there's your what you need next is a it's basically this a valve like this pretty much that goes on to your low pressure line and once you do that what you want to do first what you want to do is start your car up and make sure that your actual um compressor your ac compressor is kicking on which should be over on your left hand side right by your battery that should come on also that's what actually allows the freon to be sucked into the actual car itself so first thing you want to do is start your car up have your car running and make sure that your AC compressor come on. Once it comes on, you should know because it'll make like a little spinning sound. You should see it start spinning. The compressor is actually right over here, down at the bottom. Right there is your AC compressor. It's kind of kind of hard to see. But if you look straight down, right here, here's your battery. Straight down there, on that very bottom compressor is actually your AC compressor itself right down there so once you start your vehicle up next what you want to do is when the AC compressor is on is actually connect your this end of this pressure gauge onto the actual your low line and once you do that you want to put your can on I'm gonna do that now alright as you can see now I actually got the actual um, line on there that I'm actually going to use to fill the car back up with Freon. Once I have that line on, I'm gonna take this in and actually screw it onto the new can of Freon. And once you screw it on there, you wanna take this piece and screw it all the way down, which basically punctures the can, and then screw it all the way back up, which will allow the Freon to actually go into the vehicle. Okay, as you can see now, I now have the actual Freon itself going into the vehicle by connecting this can to the end of the actual hose, the pressure hose, that actually puts the Freon into it. And once you've done that, you kind of want to shake the can around as you're putting the Freon in. The can will get really cold. That's how you know that the Freon is actually coming into the vehicle. So you just want to keep on shaking the can until basically the can is empty. You also want to watch your gauge right here to make sure that doesn't go to the, that you can see the red. You don't want to go all the way over to that red part over there. That means that it's too much pressure pretty much. But once again, this is how you will put your Freon inside of a Chevy Impala. This happens to be a 2000 model. So it may be in the same position on a lot of different models. But once again, this is how you will put your Freon in. Thanks.